Welcome. This is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina. I am the mommy. Welcome. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us in the Ark today, guys. We really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your visit today. Um, hope you are having a happy Sunday. Um, it is very warm here. It is 89. It is just a little bit off of 90. And um, it's very warm. Um, I know Jeremiah was just barking at the door. Neighbor passed with her dog. We were going to take Jeremiah for a walk, but it's just really too warm to take him right now. So, we'll wait a little while. What I'll do is I'll get my shower, get all nice and fresh, and then eat dinner, and then we'll take him after dinner. Because it'll be a little cooler. The sun will be going down a little bit, you know? And it'll be a little cooler. So, anyway. But, anyhow, if you're new to my channel... Or if you haven't yet, I am doing a Bible study. And it is Monday through Friday. I'm doing two videos. The Bible study video and the doll video. Um, the, the other video. The other video. And so I'm doing two videos a day now. And the Bible study video is always in the morning. Now, Friday, it's going to be the other way around. Just to tell you guys. I'm doing, I do live on Fridays now at 10. At 1, though, on Friday is when I'm doing it at 1 o'clock this coming Friday. Um, so, stay tuned for that one. Only because I made an appointment with my diabetes coach. And it'll be kind of hard for me to talk to her. And well, Anyway, it'll only be like a 20, 25 minute appointment. But, I'll do the, the other video first and upload that. And then, have it done before the live one at one have it uploaded um and then i'll do live at one and then the following week i got a surprise video we are going to a doll outlet i am so excited my husband has off the week of the fourth so we're going to try going to the doll outlet. i don't know what day that'll be yet guys so stay tuned for that because i cannot wait to go to see this doll outlet i've never been there i was complaining to somebody about how we don't have any doll shows and she said, well, we do have a doll outlet. She said, see my eyes. I was like, really? And so we're going to go over and see. She said they have reborns. I said, I doubt they have real, re I doubt they're going to have like, I, I don't think they have reborns over there. I don't know. She said that they have reborns. We'll see. But I'm going to film some of it so you guys can see. And then we're going to go thrift store hopping over there. So I might be filming a couple of videos that day with like different thrift stores too. I need some stuff for fall. So I figure I start now. Because when you do your thrift store shopping, when you love your thrift stores as much as I do, it just goes to show you. I get some really good stuff at thrift stores. But anyway, we're going to get started with the devotional. And then Mariah has a special creation she wants to make at the table with something very special, with a very special thing that she's never played with before. So I'm going to let her use it, play with it a little bit and see how she does. This is Isaiah 49, 1 and 2. Listen, all coastlands to me and take heed, you, you peoples from afar. The Lord has called me from the womb, from the matrix of my mother. He has made mention of my name. And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he has hidden me and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver, he has hidden me. Remember when you were in kindergarten and you made a plaster imp imprint of your hands or a sculpture out of pipe cleaners? Remember how excited you were when you made something you were proud of? You couldn't wait to show it off. You were, be you were so careful until you got it home and put it in a safe place. And every once in a while, you take a look at it and grin. You loved it. God made you. That's why he loves you. You were his idea. You have his eyes, his hands, because you are made in his likeness, even though you may not always act like your father. The truth is that you are his child and his love for you will never end. Just as you carefully created your kindergarten masterpiece, God crafted crafted each part of your, your being just exactly the way you, he wanted it. He made you a certain way so that you could be everything wonderful that he wants you to be. You're a part of his heart because he thought of you and then he gave those thoughts your life and created you. He's in love with you. He thinks you're awesome and you are because you're his. 
Okay, we're going to go. We're going to do one verse, I think, today, guys. 1 John 3 1. Sorry, guys. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know him. There you go, guys. We're children of God. And he loves us. Sorry, guys, it's getting pretty hot in here. I'm going to try to get this video in, get prayer time in before I like because we have the door open. Honey, mm -hmm. go close the door and turn the light on. Okay. Sorry. I got to have the air on, guys. Thank you, honey. Uh -huh. So he's going to turn the air on for us, guys. Because I am really hot. Sorry. The I know you guys like the natural light. And I love having the natural light come in. But it's just way too hot out there. The fans are running, right? Okay. Sorry, guys. We've been having trouble with the air conditioner. The fan will kick off every once in a while, and we'll have to... There, there's, there's a solution to that, but anyway. We're going to go to prayer now. Um, we have a lot of prayer requests to pray over. I hope you guys agree with me in prayer. Um, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you, and we thank you, Father, that we are created that you created us, that we are your children, that you love us. And Father, I just pray now for all the needs that are out there. Father, I think of Jawanda as she has to go for her MRI and that this MRI might show needs she needs possible surgery, she might need surgery. Father, I just pray that that is not the case, that when she goes for this MRI that she will get a good report and that the doctor will be able to do something else instead for her in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for Don as he goes to the 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 neurologist, I just pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will just be with him, that you will give him peace, and that you will give the neurologist the wisdom to know what is wrong and how to treat it. Father, I pray for our dear sister, Sheila. I pray, Father, that you will be with Sheila as she is suffering right now and that she's in a lot of pain. I pray that you will touch her, heal her, give her the peace and the comfort. Father, give her your strength as she goes through this. I pray that, Father, that they will be able to do something for her, but that, Father, that you will touch, that you will heal her in the name of Jesus. And, Father, I pray for Dee. I think of Kelly's friend Dee as she is in the final days, weeks, and months of her life. I just pray, Father, that you will just give her the peace that passes all understanding and you will comfort her, that she will know that when she closes her eyes, takes her last breath, that she will be in eternity with you. And, Father, I pray that you will just be with her friends and her family, that you will give them the peace that path us all understanding and comfort them, Father, not only as they are taking care of her, but as they are saying goodbye to her as well, that they will have the reassurance that they will be with, that they will see her again. In the name of Jesus and Father, I pray for Colleen. I pray for her daughter, Father. I pray that you will just be with her. Father, she's going through so much right now. I just pray that you will reach down and you that you will meet her at her very point of need and that you will meet that need in her. That, Father, that you know what she's going through, and that, Father, they have her own medication for it, but it doesn't seem to be working. So I pray that you will just step in. And I pray, Father, for Colleen as her mother. I pray that you will be with our, with our dear sister Colleen as she is, that you will give her the wisdom to know what to do for her. And that, as her heart is breaking, that you will mend her heart. In the name of Jesus and Father, I do pray that you will just be with with her, Colleen, as she continues her quest for full custody. I pray that you will break down every barrier, that she will get a fast, fast and quick court date, and that she will get a quick and speedy decision, Father, from the judge. And I pray, Father, that you will just be with her and Becky as they are making their future plans, that you will just knock down every wall that, that, that those plans will come to pass. And I pray, as Colleen continues to quit smoking, Father, I pray that you will just be with her, especially right now, as she is not getting much sleep, as she is taking care of her daughter and her heart is breaking, that you will take that desire for the cigarettes away and give her more of a desire to be with you, Father, that you will just 
give her the desire to be with you more and more. And that she will know that you are there comforting her. That is not the cigarettes, but it is going to be you that's going to comfort her in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray now for Tammy. I pray as she has to go for her shots again, Father, in August. I pray that she'll be with them. I pray that you will just that she will not have any side effects from them this next this next time, and that she will be able to see clearly. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus for Rosella. I pray that you will give her peace and comfort. I pray that you will just take away all of her pain, the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray now, Father, for our sweet sister Becca for her depression. I pray, Father, that you will just overcome it and that she will have victory over her depression. In the name of Jesus, that you will just fill her with your peace and your joy and that your presence will be with her as in your presence depression cannot exist. And I pray for Castle and Sky Reborns for her anxiety. I pray that you will take that, Father, in the name of Jesus, and that you will just, just be with that, Father. Just take her anxiety, take her worry, take her fear, take everything that she has. Father, in your presence, it cannot be. So fill them with your presence. Be with them. Be very present with them, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I just pray they will know that you're present with them. And Father, I do pray that you will just give her the peace that passes all understanding as well. And that you will just be with her, Father, as she is. That you will just give her your joy as well, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray now for, for Terry. Father, it does not look good. Um, I just pray that you will be with her, be with her be with every, be with the doctors. Give them wisdom as to know what to do as she does have a DNR. I just pray that you will be with her. Be with her, be, be with her daughter at this point, Father, as she is going through this. And I just pray that you will just be with Kimberly, that you will just touch her, heal her, take her pain away, I pray in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for Sonia. I pray that you will just be with her for her feet. That Father, that as she's having so many problems with her feet since she got hurt I, at work, I just pray that you will be with her. That that workman's comp claim adjuster will, will get back to her in a timely manner. And that, Father, that they will just answer her in a timely manner when it comes to everything that she the doctors are ordering. And, Father, for her physical therapy, that it will not hurt her. That, Father, that it will not hurt her foot. But that the therapist will have the wisdom as to know how to actually do her therapy. In the name of Jesus and Father, I pray now for her friend Sashi. Father, he had his heart broken. I just pray that you will be with him, that you will let his pre your presence known to him, and that you will mend his heart, as in your presence all great Jehovah hearts are mended. In the name of Jesus and Father, I pray now for a Castle in the Sky Reborns family member, that you will meet that need in the name of Jesus, and that you will just, whatever the need is, that you will meet it. Father, I pray for Anne Marie. I pray for her depression, Father, that she will just, that it will flee, that she will have victory. I pray for her chronic fatigue, Father. I just pray in the name of Jesus that you will just touch her, heal her. Will the doctors say there is no cure? With you, God, all things are possible. I just pray that you will just be with us all now. Just bless us and keep us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, we're going to go over to the table, guys. We have a little activity to do for you guys. It's not going to be a big one. I promise it's not going to be a big activity. But Mariah wanted to try her hands. She heard that this was about creation, about us being creative. She wanted to create something. So I told her she could. But she wanted to create something with something very special, something she never used. So we're going to go over to the table, and we're going to show you what that is quick. You ready, Mariah? Yes, Mommy. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready, everybody. Hi, everybody. As you can see, just to show you, Mariah is wearing a very cool dress for today. She has on her pink bow today with her pink dress with the flowers. And she has on her sandals. You can tell it's very hot here because this is the way this child wanted to dress today. So this is the way we dressed. And I think we're going to be dressing in shorts most of the week. I think. We'll see. Um supposed to get chillier but not that much chillier so ready to go over to the table 
Yeah, mommy. I've been very patient, everybody. And I'm ready to go. Come on, mommy. I want to go play with the... What are you going to play with? You going to tell everybody what you're going to play with? Yes, mommy. Everybody, I'm playing with glitter glow. Yay! I get to create something with glitter glow. So come with me and create with glitter glow. Okay. So we're going to go over to the table, guys. And we're going to play with glitter glue. Let me get Mariah. Oh, are you coming with us too? Jeremiah says, I'm going to go with you guys too. Sorry, guys. I kind of have to lift this up so I can get over here, over Jeremiah. He's like being a little munchkin today. Okay, guys. We are going to create with glitter glue today. Okay. As you can see, I got the paper here. And I got glitter glue. I got these at the Dollar Tree. And they come like where you have like two things in a pack here where you can get like, but anyway, then I will put the rest of this in there. Well, you're going to help mommy create too? You guys ought to see this. Jeremiah's here too. He wants to create. You want to create too, huh? We're at the dining room table and he's just like, hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to let her create. What color do you want first, baby? You got, okay, these are the colors we got. We got red glitter glue, silver glitter glue, gold glitter glue, green glitter glue, and blue glitter glue. So, these are pen type. I know I used to use these when I was teaching preschool. Of course, kids used to make a mess with them. You want red first. Okay. I want red first, mommy. Okay, sweetheart, we'll use red first. Okay. She's just going to make a little creation. Oh, boy. Now, you rub it in like this. Oh, that's cute, Mariah. I like that. Thank you, Mommy. Hi, honey. Did you come to the table with Mommy and Mariah, huh? Now, what color do you want? I think I'm going to add some gold to it. Okay. She wants to add some gold to this, guys. She's a child that thought that she was born with a gold smooth in her hand, spoon in her hand. You know what else I want to do, Mommy? What? Oh, that looks pretty. I don't... Hey, you did make something. I don't know what that is, guys. But she made something. Now what color? Give me the color. Boo. You want boo? Okay. I want boo. Okay, we will use blue then. Okay. Okay, now what are you going to do? I'm going to make a little square. I'm going to make a boo house. Guys, I'm making a boo house with the glitter glue. Be careful. Don't get in there with the glitter glue. Oh, she just made a blue house, guys. Look at that. Her mommy will finish it off a little bit for you. You liked it that way? Okay, that is her blue house, guys. That Mariah made. Now what color? I want the color green. Okay. What are you going to make with the green? I don't know, mommy. I need to make something. I'm going to create everybody. Now. I'm going to create something. I don't know what. I don't know how this is going to come out. There, mommy. It's a cloud. I made a green cloud. As you guys can see. All her little pictures. Now, the silver. Are you going to use the silver? Yes, Mommy. And the silver, I'm going to make. I'm going to write my name. You want to write your name? This is not going to be easy, Mariah. But okay, we're going to write Mariah's name up here, guys. I don't want her getting into the actual blue, so maybe we'll write it over here. How about that? Okay, we're going to write Mariah's name, guys. M A R I a H. We wrote Mariah's name. Can you guys see that? 
Mommy? Yes, I want to write my name in another color. Which color? Which one? Uh, give me the color. Hmm. Give me. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll make a real creation. Give me red. Okay. Here's red. And watch this, everybody. I'm going to write my name. I'm going to go over my name. Oh, yeah, you're going to go over your name in red. Yep, I'm going to go over my name in red so everybody can actually see it. It's going to be neat, Mariah. Thank you, Mommy. My own creation. I made my name, everybody. I drew my name. And you did a very good job, sweetheart. How about if we let this dry now? Okay. We're going to sit here, and it's going to sit here, and going to let it dry. As you can see, Mariah created a picture. This is Mariah's picture, guys. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for helping me with my picture, everybody. I appreciate it. You're, you do? You appreciate it, huh? Mommy's going to put these back in here quick. That way we have them again when we want to use them again. And I can stick them back in the drawer. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us and making a creation with Mariah. Thank you for stopping by, hanging out with us, and helping us with this creation. Um, we're going to let this dry. And then once it dries, um, hopefully by tomorrow, I can show you it. I can show you what her special creation looks like. Um, she's pretty proud of it. And I am, too. She used her glitter glue without making a mess. I'm pretty proud of that. I'm happy that she made did make a mess. But I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful Sunday. Um, and I will see you back here tomorrow morning for the Bible study video. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out in the ark with us today. We really appreciate it. Bye. Y'all come back now. Bye.